Hello to everyone in all over the world. Uh, as you know, I have started uh, giving uh, introductions to different type of drones. Since it is my hobby, I am a professional pilot and a professional user. From many, many years, I have been using uh, drones. Once uh, the drone technology was very, very bad and uh, I have been using fixed wing and I have been using choppers, but later once the DJI introduced their products so I started using Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 3, Phantom 4 and further on uh, version 1, version 2 models and every every sort of models I still have. Along with that I started repairing the drones also and uh, because it was very costly whenever the drone was uh, having some problems so it was very costly to get it repaired from DJI or some other technicians. So I thought that it is much better to learn myself. And uh, in these days, you know, the Google helps you out and uh, you can contact the other uh, colleagues also who are using the drones and you can consult them and they can advise you. So same way I, I learned how to fix uh, the, the drones, elect electronics plus the programming even. I, because I basically I'm a professional IT engineer so but due to my accident so I came on my wheelchair and I know I am unfit for further job uh, in the offices but I am doing whatsoever I can do so the best thing it was that to develop my hobbies so today I have brought a DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus already I have made a uh, vlog on Phantom Pro so basically, there is no difference between as far as drone is concerned. Drone Phantom 4 Pro, Pro or Pro, uh, Pro Plus. Drones are the same. There is no difference. Same camera, same sensors, everything is same. The only dif difference is that is LCD. Built in LCD, that is the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. That is the remote. And the, uh, the the actual probe uh, uh, remote, there were two slots, but here there are four slots. Here you can also fix SD cards and connecting and HDMI uh, and USB everything. The best thing in this uh, LCD built-in is that you can use it under us under the sunlight even. Normally, you know, we people uh, always use some uh, iPad or telephone, uh, such th things. But still, if we have been going under the sunlight, so it was hard to see the screen. So DJI Drill, a real best remote control and with bright LCD. And in that, even you are standing under the sunlight, you can clearly see where the drone is going what all the information are coming on the screen there will be no difficulty like right now for example if i will switch it on so my own uh, uh, the video you will see it, it will uh, go a little uh, foggy so because it is so bright it takes a little time to start along with that the best capability in this remote is whatsoever you record it can you can save it in cache Later, if for example, you don't have the SD card and nothing else, but still this remote can hold 4 GB memory and you can make the cache. Later, you can convert it into real uh, video because there is raw cache is raw. So you can convert it into real uh, uh, images or video. Along with that, DJI had developed editing system in this remote you can edit your video pictures even you can make slideshow you can make your own professional video by mixing music and that music free of cost that is DJI they have an album where you can go and select the different of music whatsoever you want to see and then you can mix it and then you can also upload directly from the remote the same way as the other drone uh, pro you have uh, the, uh, had the privilege for the live streaming on the youtube same way is here now i will show you like for example this is screen now uh, once i will show my own video will bleep blur can you see the light is so bright 
and here i will show you the different type of albums what i have made the um, videos you can see i have you have been using this is my own picture i am sitting on my wheelchair and uh, making my different videos like that so i will share few clips and few videos uh, af after the end of my this vlog but my saying here is that if you have any question whosoever is new on uh, uh, for using these drones my instruction are that n first of all you have to learn how to fly drone how to control it later you have to pass the examination because these drones you cannot fly without license i'm a professional pilot also because i have a license professional license of the a a1 to a3 so in that regard it is not allowed to use such drones under 18 years of age second if you get license even you have to take care around any airport or flying zone five kilometer minimum five kilometer radius you never know if a base is empty no nobody is using you never know you have taken your air drone over there and some aircraft in emergency is coming and to land so then it can it, accident can happen it is much better to remain vigilant then the system today civil aviation all over the world they have a system through satellite they can give you the warning or through your remote control that if in such area you can fly the drone or not and if you can fly the drone how high you can go how long you can go normally these drones have a lot of range further you go up long longer you have the range but what are the instructions what the profession teach us never fly the drone beyond your visual maximum maximum that is my experience maximum one kilometer is enough because still one kilometer i can see the drone with my own eye but later it is not possible now for example if this is a foggy area then you should not again you should not fly the drone beyond your view even it is 100 meter or 50 meter so best is always keep the drone in safety zone never use the drone where school or kids or public is there it is it is taught to us that never and ever fly these drones inside the building even even you are very master professional pilot even then why regarding that you know they have these are the electronics and always remote and the drones have the communication with each other if you are going inside you never know there are more other signals also which can jam your communication and once the communication is jammed drone program can be malfunctioned and it can crash in anything i have already told to my friends that one of my colleague took drone from me just for use for funny purpose but i have i instructed him that never use it inside and he did and he crashed crashed the drone into his own tv he destroyed his tv so it is much better do not use it third if some area is under the use of demonstrations and other sort of things never take your drones on, on that area yes if somebody has contacted you and made a contract to make a professional uh, movie a coverage then you have to seek permission from the police or local civil aviation that is much better without permissions it will be treated as illegal so these were the instructions which uh, i want uh, i wanted to share with you rest uh, you you must be knowing that these drones have lot of safety sensors here sensors down below you know uh, sonar all around plus obstacle avoidance everything three modes you know in in the, these modes you can you know that is called p s and a mode so in that regard you have to be very careful so i always use on on s mode because i am a little uh, uh, you can know handicap so for me what what is the safe 
safe uh, mode that is s mode for me so in that regard i do standard mode i just uh, fly and uh, sometimes i do go for p or but i never use a so in that regard because you uh, you you have to keep your drone under the gps tracking because in case of any accident you can find the drone where it was in the last location but if you are flying in the manual mode then uh, it is it is difficult to find the drone where you have crashed it and plus it can damage yes if you are very very professional very clever to use this remote and you know joysticks or like that definitely you can try it depends upon your capability but i am just telling what i have the experience so kindly do let me know if you have any questions thank you very much i will be grateful if you ask me the question bye bye